All right, let's get on to some trailer reviews. So this past week, uh, I think it was last week, we got the subtitled trailer for Attack on Titan. Thoughts? Same trailer, just with subtitles on it. <laughs> I think Japan is actually getting much better with their graphics than they than they have. Yeah, before. they're getting new, and whoever's doing the translating is getting better with the translations too. I mean, some of the translations are not very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, the show shouldn't even be called Attack on Titan. It should be called like Attack of the Titans. It was a yeah. bad translation. So, what can we say? But I think the movie looks great. You know. I can't wait to check it out once it comes out. It is supposed to be out here in theaters. So I think it's being put out by Funimation. Yes, yeah, when it comes Funimation. out. So we will see. I need to find out where it's going to come out at. They'll have to go to Austin and watch it. Oh well, I'll do that. If that happens, so be it. All right, so uh, we got the final Fantastic Four trailer. I don't care. Bing Grim talked, and he sounded like a child. <laughs> What was that? No, no. What was that? That is not Ben Grimm. That is not the thing. Oh man, I thought I was expecting this. Like, I was just watching the trailer. I wasn't expecting to hear him talk or anything. But then all of a sudden, I was like, Who the first is this time I watched, man child? The first time I watched, I didn't notice it was him talking. And then the next time I watched it, I watched it the second time through. And then you see his mouth moving and words coming out. I was like, Wait, what? Mm -hmm. It was like that's him talking. No, you got that wrong. No. No. I didn't. I didn't like it. They, they just killed it again for me. I'm definitely not going to the theater to see this movie. No. I hope it dies. And they already have a sequel planned out. It's like, yep, you can't do that. they got a sequel planned out, and they're talking about doing a crossover with the X-Men movies and stuff. No, just don't. Just die. Just don't do it. Don't do it! So moving off of the fan four stick, we'll get into CW's Vixen. You saw that? Uh, no. No, you didn't see it, or no, you didn't care for it. Well, no, I'm like I saw a little bit of it. Okay, I saw the beginning clip of it, and then I just like turned it off because I didn't care. Yeah, I never liked the character, so I'm really not worried about it. I just don't see how you're gonna do an animated universe. Uh, uh, an animated show in the same universe as Arrow and Flash, and then have this animated show try to go along with that, when obviously he's still wearing his old Green Arrow, his, his old Arrow you know, costume and stuff. I don't get it, and they've never mentioned her in the shows or anything. It, How is it going to fit together? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, I would have been fine with, okay, let's make an animated show, but it's going to be in its own universe and everything. I don't see it fitting into this universe. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. Nope, I don't. Besides, I don't like Mixon. I don't care for it. I don't care. No, I don't like it. Uh, the. <laughs> Sorry. So, 007 Spectre, James Bond. Second trailer's come out. I love it. So, waiting for this movie. Chris. Yeah. I think it's great. Yeah, I'm going to go see it. Definitely. I love that they bring in old school uh, villain corporation into the new movies. Victor. Yes. So I like how they're going through, they're making it a little bit more like the old school James Bond where he's got all this tech gear and everything so you yeah. can tell they're doing a little bit more of that. Um, I think they did mention that he was getting older and everything and stuff so he'll be using a little bit more technology to help like himself out. I like the cube. Yeah, I do too. I think it's, I'm really looking forward to this movie. I really like these you know, you know, at first I didn't like Casino Royale, but then it grew on me, and then I've liked the, all of them since then, from Quantum Solace to uh, Skyfall, and then this one I'm really looking forward to. The one that I didn't care for uh, Quantum Solace that much, but on, I that's it probably because I haven't seen it in a long time, so I'll have to go back and watch it. I but thought it was great. I like Casino Royale, and then Skyfall the best. Yep. I can't wait for this one. I'm going to see this. This is probably oh, yeah. the, well... No, there's only one other movie that I'm looking forward to also besides this one. Star Wars? Well, let me make that two then. <laughs> I'm saying like in, in the in succession. Like, oh. There's one movie before this one that I'm looking forward to. Sky, uh, Spectre and then Star Wars comes out later on after that. But there's only one more movie that's coming out before that that I'm looking forward to. Which is? 
uh, Scorch Trials, I think it's called. Which is the next one on our list. So yeah, what did you think of the second trailer? It looks good. It looks way better than any of these other teen angst movies that we have going around. So it looks better than any of those uh, Hunger Games movies. It looks better than the Divergent one. And, you know, I liked it better than both of them. The, the first one, the, the, what do you call it, Maze Runner? Maze Runner, uh, yeah. The Maze Runner movie was good. But I'm looking forward to this next one. The trailer made it look really good. This is probably the best uh, teen book to movie transition that I've seen ever, maybe? Yeah. Close. Close. Oh, this is one of the best that Close I've seen. Enough. I love it. I love it. Uh, Dylan O'Brien is an amazing actor. He pulls off a teen perfectly. So yeah. I think it works. Yep. I'm looking forward to that movie. Mm -hmm. 